So if you like rectangles, you'll love triangles. Uh, it's because it basically it's a converging of support and those resistance lines, either rising or declining. It could be the triangle could go either way, and we'll look at some examples of that. But the trending range pricing is narrowing, and it'll look like a triangle. And once again, the breakout will usually occur in the direction of the original trend. Not always, but that's the idea: is it will tend to occur whichever way it breaks out, or when it breaks out, when it does break out. Excuse me, when it does break out, it will tend to break out in the direction of the original trend. So be watching for that pattern when you're looking at triangles. But let's look at triangles now when we're looking and valuing charts and, and pricing. So we remember from the rectangle lesson how we had two parallel lines, the resistance line and the support line. In this particular example, we have an ascending triangle. It looks like a triangle um, with a wider, wider to a narrowing point. And this one is called an ascending triangle because it's going up in pricing. It's a continuation triangle where it's going up in pricing. You see how the resistance line at the top is parallel uh, and is stable and pricing when prices rise to that they hit there and they come back down But as you see the support line is instead of also being parallel It's more at an angle so they don't prices don't come down all the way they come down But then they bounce back up they hit the resistance line and they come down again But not all the way to the previous level they come down just a little bit and then they bounce back up And you keep getting that going up all the way down a little going up all the way down a little less going up all the way and down a little less than that until it forms like a triangle is what the pattern that you're seeing here and really what in this example where there's ascending or rising prices what this is saying is people want to buy they just can't get through that resistance line it's just too high but they're not going down below the support line in fact their support line is starting to rise in conjunction where people are showing more confidence in this particular let's say you know this particular cryptocurrency investment as an example so you can see the resistance line is steady and then the support line is rising up to that to this narrower point. So what should happen at some point here, if the pattern continues, it's at some point it's going to not the support line is going to get so narrow that it's going to just naturally kind of burst forth and burst through that resistance line is what we're looking for here. Establish the new trend and continue that existing trend, which if you saw on the far left, the trend was rising with a little dip, but otherwise it was rising before we got into the triangle and we continue that rising trend in the triangle you can see is a rising triangle as well uh, one thing if you're looking at this too if you're able to get in and see a little bit more of a buying opportunity if you see the triangle starting to form you once again want to have enough data but if, here's the example where if you can see it where it's starting to form if you can get in towards the bottom there you can actually ride the triangle out a little bit more and then see if the breakout occurs so you get a little extra kind of bump there uh, in, the, in the beginning if you start seeing the triangle starting to form. Once again, there's no guarantees on anything with technical analysis. It could completely go through that support line and go down, or there could be some kind of thing that happens, a world event that just messes everything up. But in normal trading patterns, this is the triangle and ascending triangle. Now you can also have descending triangles where you might don't want to buy, or you might want to sell your holdings, or it depends on where you're at in the triangle uh, and what you're pricing that you paid for something. But the idea is, Pricing is starting on the decline. Our support line is steady. You know, it's, it's, it's steady. It's going down to the support line. But the resistance line is going down. It's eroding. It's getting closer to that support line. Prices are falling. You can see how the prices are falling over time from the top left to the bottom right. And you can see everything's moving down to a lower period. To a might get to a point where it might follow, you know, an existing pattern or something where it might break through and follow that previous type pattern which in this case, so I didn't draw it as well on the left-hand side, where it might break through the support line. But the idea of a descending triangle is your month's skin going on the descent part of it and break through the triangle. So triangles are very, very common and very used. I don't, want, I don't want to say common, I'm saying commonly used by technical analysis folks, because triangles are pretty easy to understand and, and you can start seeing the patterns form and you can start make, and it makes sense because of how people are buying and selling. But remember, nothing's foolproof, but if you start seeing triangles, you know, start looking for those triangles and see if they're heading in the direction that uh, you want them to head to.